In this exercise, we are going to use module configuration to control the execution of a workflow. As you can see in the infographic, the module configuration will drive the execution of the workflow. We are going to use a switch activity in order to evaluate which path to go. The execution of the subsequent flow can be either a workflow or an activity or the default path. Let's see this in action. First, we generate a module configuration that we use to control the execution of certain tasks or workflows within the workflow. We pull this module configuration into a local context item. And then use the switch activity to control the flow. Our custom log file will be executed or written based on the module configuration. If the evaluation of your module configuration value turns out to be true, then the workflow to write the file will be executed. Otherwise, the default path of the switch statement will be executed. And in this path, we have no further activity. We pull in the context item, representing the module configuration, load some sample data to test our evaluation. and use an XPath expression start with in order to verify if the value is true. We test the execution of the workflow by means of sample data. The module configuration is set to true and should therefore write a custom log file. If we set the value to something other than true, the workflow will go through the default path and therefore not write a log file. 